My name is Sandra Champion and I live in Hobart, which is in the state of Tasmania in Australia. Tasmania is a beautiful island state to the south of Australia and it has a lot of large um, world heritage areas in it. These have always inspired me um, in the composition of my quilts and my subject matter. But I'm also interested, as I'm a, a, a historian by trade, my interest is also in the um, social and cultural and industrial heritage of where I live. Um, my quilt sea change, um, sea wall, uh, came about because I was chasing my dog in my local industrial park and uh, came upon this wall, which is only, uh, you can only see it at low tide a couple of times a year. And I was so fascinated by the wall and I started to investigate its history. Um, it is a um, heritage listed wall and it has a history um, of 200 years. It started um, in the early 1800s as being a seawall as part of a shipbuilding yard, which was highly successful for a number of years. It then became a, a timber drying and storing um, yard. And after that, it then became a fruit processing and canning um, facility, which employed about a, a thousand people. And then it fell into disuse and the local community where I live were very concerned that it might change and become development. So there was community pressure for it to become a waterfront industrial park. And it's been very popular. It has a high, high visitation. And um, although the people who visit the park really wouldn't see the seawall, um, but I love the seawall because it's grotty and it's old and it's got very weathered beams in it, um, rusted bolts, and it's got a lot of algae and marine material um, from uh, sea life. And so I've made a number of quilts in um, this series, in this seawall series. I think I'm up to about number. 15 now. Um, I, I, work in, uh, I work in papers. I've worked in a paper textile for a long time since I was at art school in the 1980s and I became interested in applying paper to textile and I've worked in that medium ever since. Um, this particular series, I've, I've been using a lot of vintage paper and magazines and I, I soak them in water, transform them and deconstruct them and they bring out interesting images when you deconstruct them in that way. Um, so in the magazines, I use the vintage magazines. They have um, beautiful um, images and texts, which I love using over here. This, um, those uh, vintage papers have lovely text in them. Um, I also use um, the glossy lift outs from newspapers. I um, soak them for a number of months and uh, the print deconstructs and it means after you've done that, they're, they're uh, marvelous for um, painting and rusting. Um, I oil a lot of my papers as well and also burn them. Um, and uh, I like to use recycled materials really as um, an ethical statement, um, as well as the auth authenticity they give to a piece. Um, and when I'm making a piece, I, I, I work in small modules rather than a large single piece. This piece is made up of modules. It's easier to work with. And I'm always, when I'm working, I'm always looking at um, composition and colour um, in the piece. I love stitching. I love slow stitching because I think when I stitch in that way, 
the, the papers become part of the piece and they tell the story um, of the series that I'm working on.